Hey, what's up, guys? Good morning. This is your local neighborhood hub dealer. Boom, down in San Diego, ready to spread some good news. It's Thursday, guys. Good morning. It's time to get a hype, baby, for the Lord to get moving and grooving in the right direction with uh, living in the light with the spirit, because that's what I'm talking about, baby. Anyways, guys, hey, let's have a good day today, all right? Let's get positive. Let's get this devotion going. And remember, the, the minute after you watch this video is the minute you're going to change your life and continue to walk with the Lord in the spirit. We'll guide you, and we're going to live in the light because we got nothing to hide, guys, because we got our character and we have our integrity. All right, let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for everything that you do. Father, you're the main physician. Please continue to put a hedge of protection over Big Mike Delgado. Continue to work on his lungs. Continue, Father, to bring him home to his family. Continue, Father, to put a hedge of protection over his family, Father. Continue to have them be strong through this all so they can see their, the, the man in their life walk out of that hospital. Father, please watch over my brother Patrick still. Continue to heal him, Father. Please continue to watch over my friend up in the high desert and let her get back to be been moving and grooving with you, baby. Continue to let us live in the light with the Spirit as we hide nothing from nobody, as we get our integrity back to where we don't live in the dark. Please, Father. I ask you, please, please take everything negative out of my soul. Anything that's not you, Father, remove it from me, Father. As we continue to give us what we can handle, Father, as we as we sometimes want to think about all these things that we want, but remember, it's the person that we become, Father, is what gives us true happiness on this planet, Father. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you do. And we love you, and we love you, and we love you, Father. And we want to shout it from the mountaintops about how you have saved our lives because we might have wandered for a long time, but now you've shown us the truth, and now we have no excuse, Father, not to follow you as I cling to you father as I love you father as I use my mouth for positive father as I spread the good news father as if I put you first and everything else trickles down and I have everything in perspective and everything positive father and I thank you lord for the change of perspective as you shot me into the fourth dimension of thankfulness and I love you with my whole heart guys let's have a great day and I love you father in Jesus name I pray amen amen baby Hey, today's going to be a good day, guys. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my soul. Today, I want to talk about a, a chapter in the Bible that like changed my life. It's called Ecclesiastes. It's about King Solomon, right? King Solomon tried to find happiness on this planet. But not only did he try to find happiness under the sun, he also had the ability to do anything pleasurable that you would ever think of, guys. He was good looking, okay? He had all the money in the world. He was a king. He built kingdoms. He built gardens. He had women. He had booze. He could party. So imagine a human being being able to have every access to pleasure on this planet and actually going out there and having purpose to try to find happiness under the sun. And guess what he said? Every single one of them failed miserably. And the only way to have joy on this planet is to walk right with God and have the spirit guide you. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can revert that story in a, in a smaller, in a smaller, uh, in, a, in like a smaller um, scale that, you know, in my life, guys, in my life, you know, I played professional baseball, guys. I had money. Um, you know what I'm saying? I had all the things that I could get pleasure from under the sun, and I chose to chase them during my career. And every single one of them ended in failure to where finally the devil disguised drugs as heaven, and they took me straight to hell, guys. But now, because of a mustard seed, gratitude, consistency, and the love of the Father, I've been able to turn my life around, guys. And it's just, it's just, it's just unexplainable. But for me, in my heart, I know that it could only be God. It could only be God because it's the only thing I've put first for the last 1,013 days. And now I'm able to spread the good news. I'm able to tell my story. I'm able to last night at the Salvation Army in front of a bunch of people be able to spread my good news. And I just love it, guys. And I've been given a gift now by Captain Paul Swain over at the Salvation Army San Diego that I get to do the devotion every Saturday morning at 7. So that means I get to show up over there to the Sally and I get to get the guys fired up for the day with like a half hour devotion, guys. I get an opportunity to spread the good news. And the crazy thing is, is that his wife does that slot. 
but she had just got another engagement that she has to start doing. So they were actually looking for someone to fill that spot. And the day that she was able to get this engagement, I hit Captain Schwain up and he filled me into the slot, dude. It's crazy how God works when you let God work it, baby. It works if you work it, guys. Put the Lord first and he will take care of you. I promise you guys. I'm living proof. I know this, guys. I know this. But we always just got to walk. We got to get right with God, guys. Even... You guys that aren't drug addicts, guys, man, check up, check out the 12 steps, guys. The 12 steps can help any human being on the planet. It can get you to, to exit and get rid of all your baggage, guys. It's a quick, fast way to a spiritual awakening because us as addicts, man, we're trying to save our lives. Like this is life or death for us by the time we get to the 12 step. So the 12 step is a quick access into a spiritual awakening, a backdoor access into a spiritual awakening that can change your entire lives. Check it out, guys. It's amazing. You know, the fourth step, we do our moral inventory. We find out our part in everything and we realized that we were a mess too. We forgive the people that we that, that had harmed us. And then we figure out the people that we have harmed. And then we do an amendment list. So we go out and we make amends to people, guys. And for us as addicts, as long as we stay sober, it's called a living amends, right? So we clear out all the baggage. And in the 10th step, we do a moral inventory every night. Every night I go to bed and I make sure my side of the street's clean. The 11th step, right? I continually ask the Lord for his will and my strength to carry it out. That's just like prayer. This is what started my prayer life. The 12 step. Now you carry the message and not the mess. And it's changed my whole entire life. And anybody can do this, guys. And I worked the 12 steps and I'm free from my bondage. And I'm now I'm able to live in the moment, have faith for the future, and not stumble on something behind me, guys. It's like a miracle thing. I love the 12 steps, guys. Change my life can help anybody out on this planet, guys. But just remember, guys. King Solomon, Ecclesiastes, had all the abilities to chase pleasures on this planet, and every single one of them ended miserably, guys. Learn from his lesson, guys. Learn from his lesson, dude. Start to read the Proverbs. Start to see ways to, to live life right, man. Start to walk in the light, man. Get all your baggage out. Get all your secrets out. We, you know, we're only as healthy as our secrets, guys. We got to get them out there, guys. Get everything to the light. Walk in the light and then have the Spirit guide you. Proverbs can start that. The Proverbs can start you on a good path of how to live and what to do and what not to do. How to feed the good dog and not the bad dog, guys. All right? I love you guys. Hey, we're going to have a great, wonderful, awesome, amazing day. I want to read my book right here, Jesus Always, because this is the book that continues to get you to walk with the Lord one step at a time, man. I recommend you guys go out there and get yourself one, right? Beautiful little cover right here. The lady that wrote these books lived her whole life in a wheelchair. So she found happiness from a wheelchair, guys. And she wrote these books. And it's absolutely amazing. Jesus calling. Jesus always. All right, I'm going to read this right here. When things don't go as you would like, accept the situation immediately, guys. You have to accept the situation. And you got to get over it, guys. This is called doing your moral inventory. Continuing to keep back resentment. Resentments are like, uh, like drinking poison and expecting somebody else to die. They're never going to work out. Out, guys if you indulge in feelings of regret they can easily spill over to the line into resentments now i can know what a resentment feels like and i can stop it on point i can stop the resentment because they will try to creep on you they're like the enemy resentments are the enemy guys we are not the victim we are the victor all right we are not the victim we are the victor i was in my addiction and everybody around me played the victim oh me oh this oh oh, oh i need dope i need this we're all victims no we're victors baby tell me about it and humble yourself under my mighty hand rejoice in what i am doing in your life even though it's beyond your understanding trust the mystery it's behind our understanding i don't know what god has in store for me for five years i have a preview of what i want to do it's beyond my understanding but i trust the mystery that if i have good intent in the moment i will continue to change lives and i will continue to spread the good news and i will continue to do the right thing i am the way the truth and the life in me, you have everything you need, both for this life and for the life yet to come, man. Eternity, guys. Don't let the impact of the world shatter your thinking or draw you away from focusing on me. Do not be the victim. The ultimate challenge is to keep fixing your eyes on me no matter what is going on around you. When I am central in your thinking, you are able to view circumstances from my perspective. Peter 5, uh, 5, 6, John 14, 6. You can change from your from his 
perspective, guys. So when the when the when the storm's on the outside, there's not one on the inside, guys. When the world's falling around you, you have the foundation of the rock to keep you solid and keep you strong, baby. You know what I'm saying? And I love that. And I love that. And the change of perspective. I say it all the time, guys. This isn't about what you receive. This is about the change of perspective now that you look at this planet as, right? You realize that nothing else works that all avenues run dry now you look to the lord for your salvation his mercy and his grace and now you're able to turn your life around and now you're able to live one minute at a time as you seek the moment because it's all about being in the moment almost all things in the world buddhism religion religion all that is really trying to get you to live in the moment so we have faith for our future no more future tripping. We don't stumble on something behind us because the Lord has now made our past make sense. And now we seize the moment with good intent, guys. All right. Hey, let's have an amazing day, guys. And remember, let's learn from other people's mistakes so we don't have to live through them. All right. As we wait for our blessing, we stay positive. So we build a character to handle the blessing, guys. All right. Hey, let's choose to have the change of perspective, baby. Just for today. Today matters. Let's go, guys.